Please welcome Kylie and her mom, Yael, to the show. Yeah. Tough to watch, huh? Now, Kylie, um, having gone through anaphylactic shock, can you describe what that feels like? Um, anaphylaxis, it feels like somebody's, like, strangling you and that you're going to die. There's no, like, first little reactions that happen. It just goes straight to suffocation. I want, I want to go to mom really quickly. <laughs> You were crying just watching that. Yeah, and I've told the story a thousand times because I'm in charge of the food allergy and anaphylaxis walk in Los Angeles. And even when I hang my, my food allergy walk posters all over Los Angeles and I enlist people and I do social media, Facebook and Twitter, and I do everything I can to get the word out to help families to come to the walk and network and learn about FAN to protect their kids and keep them alive. Every time I see the word food allergy, I just have to laugh because if we don't as parents and advocates and doctors and allergists and, and caretakers use the appropriate word and call it what it is, anaphylaxis, anaphylactic allergies, life-threatening food allergies, deadly, I don't care what you use it, some waiter's not going to get it, the mm -hmm. teacher's not going to care, and that person sitting across from you that brought their peanut butter and jelly sandwich that wants to smear it on you, doesn't get it. It's not an allergy. It's a deadly disability for many. Up to 15 million Americans are affected by food allergies, deadly food allergies. And this is a show about knowing what to do in an emergency mm -hmm. and understanding, like you mentioned, Yellow, this is anaphylaxis. This is not a simple allergy where you get a rash. Mm -hmm. This is a life-threatening situation. And we also have joining us today Dr. Kathy Green, an allergist too. You're going to talk a little bit about testing because a lot of times parents don't really know. They're not sure. And that can be one of the most devastating things, not even knowing if your child's allergic to something. And this is a new test to, to test for peanut allergies? We do. We have a, a new molecular allergy test. Um, it is a blood test. And when we run this blood test, we can tell you if your child has dangerous peanut allergy or the less dangerous type. 